I didn't get one quarter minute. I got two. John, how you doing? Pretty good. How about you, Scott? Good. Get up close to that mic. They have taken. They have taken over. My studio is not my studio anymore. It is the Swanee Riverkeeper studio right now. Good morning. Hi, Gretchen. How you doing? I'm good. And Jim, the intern. You're Hello. Still, still here. Glad to be here. We're having a party. Listen, I, I was thrilled to have Kenny Moore in here, Indianapolis Cole. I love it when these guys remember where they come from and uh, come to give back. Thank you so much to, to him for putting on that big deal tomorrow. But he's got to compete with you guys. Yes, he does. You well, got, you got a big deal from noon until 5 tomorrow, and I actually know some of the players. Well, that's good. I, I think you said you know Dave Farr from the 20... Do you know how many times he's taken me upriver to come back two, four, or six miles? Do you know how many times he's hauled me, John? Well, I don't know, but I bet it's a lot. It's got to be 50 plus. He, uh, he owned it for a long time, then he sold it off and still worked there, and now I think they own it again. I believe they own oh, it. I believe they do, yeah. Yeah, John, listen, uh, David and Deb are, are wonderful people. I did not know about his songwriting talent, though, as well as I knew him. His, his song is really awesome, too. So yes. I'm sorry that you're missing it. Live music tomorrow afternoon at the swan, uh, Salty Snapper. All right, if I know you two, and I do, I bet you videotape the thing, and I bet it's accessible even later on in life. We will, we will. I bet I can go find it and, and enjoy some of the music, can't I? Well, I hope so. Okay, good. <laughs> That, that's actually part of the deal. Yeah, Dave was the first one to submit, but you may also know Mike Tappan, who's from right here in Dallas. Yeah, that's familiar. Mm -hmm. I don't think I know. I have a personal relationship with Mike. Good luck. You're a local boy. I know you got Gainesville. I know you got Live Oak, Valdosta, Tennessee. Um, golly, it, uh, where else? Who else is participating? Yeah, that's right. The, the, those two I just mentioned are actually the only two from inside the Swanee River Basin. No but kidding. The others are mostly from nearby. Emmett Carlisle's coming up from Gainesville tomorrow. And Jane Jordan's coming from Ponte Verde Beach over near Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Got another one from Jacksonville, Laura Dallacero. She's coming. And Holland Gamage, she's from McKinville, Tennessee. All right, people, five solid hours. So all these people no. got to... Four. One till, one till five. Oh, five. I was getting people there at noon. So. Yeah, well, we'll be still setting out the, the silent auction and the kayak raffle, and we have some really awesome stuff, but come at one o'clock. Back up. Right, that's what it. What kind of kayak? Um, ten foot? It's a 10.6-foot a uh, kayak, and it's a... Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. It stumped us. It's all right. Thing we forgot to write down. A boat's a boat, people. Yeah. I'll say, I'll the, and and uh, the the drawing is going to be at the annual meeting on July the eighth. Gotcha. So you can get your tickets for that. Uh, five dollars for one ticket or five tickets for twenty. Right. The salty snapper is where the contest is tomorrow. That's uh, on Gornto, right next to the Withacoochee River, fourteen oh five Gornto Road, down Austin, Georgia. Where sometimes the river comes to meet the restaurants. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, it does. And in fact, that very same morning, we're having it out, and you can paddle to the salty snapper at nine o'clock. Meet at Langdale Park. There'll be a paddle. Cut it out. Yeah. There you, you got, go. You got plenty of water right now. That's right. I passed over it uh, last night on North Valdosta Road. The Whiplacoochee is very full, and I guess, what's the name of the creek that comes right up to the... Sugar Creek. Sugar Creek. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, uh, listen, a couple of things. Tell me about the format. If everybody shows up and we kick off at 1 o'clock, how are, how are all the songwriters going to be presented to us? Well, we start with some speeches, and MC is going to be, since you won't do it. I'm sorry, I would have mm -hmm. done that in a heartbeat. That would have mm -hmm. been so fun, so different. Well, we found a better one. That'd be Gretchen. <laughs> The MC of last resort. <laughs> and first resort. Okay, so we start with a few speeches. You gotta have speeches, which is, you know, about walls, what we do, who we are, how where we came from, and um, how we're having this uh, great buffet prepared by the Salty Snapper and Will Eason. We're gonna make him stand up and talk about the Salty Snapper because he's our host. Beautiful. And then we're gonna have the contestants uh, draw straws to see who goes first. Then we'll present them one by one. They get to introduced by Gretchen, our MC. Now, are they going to do a little storytelling and a little singing? Uh, one would imagine so nope. that they'll tell a little bit about themselves. We have their what they submitted to us to introduce mm -hmm. them with, but then they'll tell about you know sort of why the river is important to them, and then they'll sing their song. And we have three judges who will be judging them. The decision will be made tomorrow. Which one of the songs cool. is the best? And what is this a certain level of this contest? Do they go on to another level? Or is oh, this, this, is, this is it. This and is it. The, we have right here. This is the first prize. Oh. First place 
plaque. Jim, do your job. Get some pictures. Where's my camera? Oh, uh -huh. it's lost. Oh, right there. Hold on. We're, we're videoing it as well. You'll be able to see the video of this right Yeah, there, so. we'll go share it, but I'll help you out. I'll help you with another little bit of promotion from uh, the rest of the evening. So anyway, they're going to win this awesome plaque and $300. That's right. Perfect. And I saw 50 bucks or something for runners up prizes. Well, and for best, the best one in the um, basin and the best one out of the basin, and then the grand prize winner will be? This one, $300. Right. All right, is there any advantage to somebody like David Farr who is, makes his living off the river when he starts storytelling his stuff? Well, that's up to the judges. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. They could be influenced. It, it is a songwriting contest, so they're judging basically on the lyrics and the music and how they fit together. All right, but mm -hmm. see the story. If, that, if that, those lyrics tell a story, maybe that could also... That is one of the criteria. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And also about the history, and also there's an extra credit for how many rivers you managed to mention in the song. Ooh. Listen, I told you I'm tied up for the day. The Leadership Lounge board retreat is uh, from 8 that morning till about 3 that afternoon. I could still probably get in the tail end. Um, but my wife, she says, oh, you're busy? I, I, she's going to try and scramble some girlfriends and go out to it. Yay! Yay. She Yay. says it just sounds like a neat format and obviously something very, very different. You guys are approaching this in a neat way. Well, that's the whole idea, to get new people involved and new, do a new thing, have a fun time. Buffet, cash bar, silent auction, kayak raffle, and lots of new songs about our rivers. Yeah, new, new live music. Who doesn't like that? Nobody. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're getting to see the, the guy that put it all together, wrote the song, was inspired to write the song, yeah. is singing the song as well. Should be very folksy, am I correct? Oh, we have a variety. There's one guy who's got a blues song. There's several kinds of folk. There's Americana. Okay, that's that's about the range of it, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, 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 we don't have any rappers or, um, and, and they would be welcome. I mean, all, all varieties are welcome, but, but we didn't get any sort of alternative. We did, we did explicitly solicit every known musical genre. Okay. I think you're always going to get folksy. That's just what that slow-moving <laughs> river inspires mm. as well. All right, tell me what you're going to do. Obviously, this should be a real decent fundraiser for you. Um, how are you going to put that money to work? Well, our, our current new project is uh, water quality testing. Mm -hmm. So when you go down to the river, you want to know that it's safe to swim and that if you're going to fall in the river off your boat, that you're safe in the river. So uh, buying water quality testing kits, getting uh, people trained with water quality testing uh, training and materials, and there's... Uh, Oh, quite a bit of to do about that. So that's our upcoming project. For for example, did you know Tifton had a big sewage spill a few weeks ago? I know Albany just had one. I busted their chops yesterday. Yeah, and uh, Tifton, that was into the Flint River, which fortunately doesn't go where we are. Yep. But the one in Tifton was bigger, and nobody knows about it. And that one does come toward us. Yes, it was into the new river, which then goes into the Withaguchi right by Valdosta. Uh. And nobody knows how far it went. They did testing. I had their data, and oh, it was way out of bounds. John, how big? Um, Were they into the hundreds of thousands of gallons? Uh, no, it was like uh, ninety thousand, I think. But okay. still, that's bigger than what spilled in the Flint. Now, it's less than Valdosta used to spill. I must put in a plug here for Valdosta. They've spent upwards of two hundred million dollars, and they've not had a significant spill in a year and a half. Congratulations! Right? Believe me, if they do, you'll hear about it. <laughs> so far, so good. Remember, I got a station in Jasper. I hear about it twice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> good. One at the beginning, and one what we're sending them mm -hmm. as well. All right, I'm glad we got ours in order, but obviously others must be falling apart around us. Was Tifton a infrastructure? Uh, they actually spilled during Irma, too. They had a big one, and Quitman spilled during Irma, and also Lowndes County spilled both during Irma and a week later. Yep, I saw that. That was a minor spill compared to what we've been doing. But That's uh, right. It was still noticeable. Yeah. And you know, the big problem is, okay, so Tifton tested at one point upstream, one point downstream, but where did it go after that? Nobody knows. There's no testing. And we've tried for years to get the state of Georgia and the state of Florida to do this. They won't do it. So, so you're doing it on your own. Doing it. Well done. Well, we're trying to get the program started. So, And it does take funding to get those kits and get people trained. All right. Now that I'm up to my third boat, um, you you got you to gotta help me out. With the Lacoochee, mm -hmm. uh, as far as our maybe even just Lowndes County, give me, a, give me a couple of spots that I can put in and get out. With the, and remember the ages of my family. Remember that I'm talking about any from, from seven on up. Oh, well, the easiest place is Langdale Park, right off the North Valdosta Road, since uh, Valdosta Park's in wreck. 
uh, fixed that all up. There used to be a big, big sand dune across the boat ramp. They fixed that, and uh, someone has apparently cleared some of the deadfalls along the river, so you can put in hey, there. Someone named Quarterman? Uh, no, it wasn't me. I just <laughs> couldn't say who it was. I okay. Know. So, uh, and you can now float down in about an hour and a half from there to the newly rediscovered Sugar Creek Landing. You know where the Y is on Gornton? Yep. Okay, as you're facing the Y's entrance, you see the city's lift station. Oh, yes, you do. And if you look just below the left wall of the lift station, there's a little strip of land that goes all the way down to the river. Turns out it's owned by the county, marked public access. Cut it out. Yeah, nobody knew this, but they the Y do. dug it up and the county's confirmed it. They do now, and that would be a good drop off one vehicle point that head back and. and Correct. Oh, but, perfect. Uh -huh. that, that's what we're doing Saturday morning. We're shuttling to there from Langdell Park. Uh, another simple paddle in town is to go to the State and Road Bridge mm -hmm. uh, and come down to Langdell Park. It's a beautiful paddle, super easy. Uh, how long is that one? Mm, maybe three hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, doable for kids. Mm -hmm. All right, so the other is I, my house lives right on a three mile branch. I mm -hmm. mean, it is right, we have, well, we had, it's now overgrown over the, the, the course of the spring. We had a path right down to the river, and, and the girls absolutely loved it down there. Mm -hmm. They got to get down and see the beach, they got to see the hundreds of deer tracks and, and paw prints. And you seem like an awesome family for water quality testing. You <laughs> We'd be glad to. You could do it right there, and that's what we're looking for with people who have access and go regularly to a certain location where they could do regular testing. Can I wait till the ticks are a little lighter? <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot of... A lot of deer walking right there. Well, a lot of people can do it by standing on a bridge and lowering a bucket down so they don't have to get near ticks. All right, and then is this the process we're going to send it back to you and you guys are going to take care of it from there? Well, there's two, two different ways. One is that it can come back to us, um, or the other is for people to be trained and to do some testing right on their own. Okay. Two, two, two possibilities. There, there's what they're going to do with all the funds from this fundraiser and from some of the other paddles that they do, because I've been on one last year, mm -hmm. went up to Reed Bingham and did that uh, that three-mile jaunt with my family. The paddle race, you actually won a prize. For we family. sure did. We missed you this year. The paddle race went well. We had 56 people. And that was my fault. My back was out. So we were up that morning to go to that, to, to show up again and, and take part, mm -hmm. and uh, I couldn't pull it off. Now we also had the film festival in May, which Gretchen organized. We had more than 50 people show up looking at short films about rivers. And our most recent thing is coming up tomorrow, the songwriting contest. But now that we're finally finishing festival season, we're getting into programs. Uh-oh, he's got signs. I want one. This uh, sign that I'm holding up, which I'm sure you can see on the radio, says, <laughs> Shibagi Boat Ramp, Barron County. This, this particular one causing a siren somewhere, was... Um, the ambiance of the downtown. <laughs> it's, the, you know, it's the sirens trying to find who took this sign. Okay, uh, we had the state of Georgia the Department of Transportation, GDOT, put up signs at uh, nine different landings on the Alapaha River water trail on the Alapaha River. This one, Chibagi, was at US 82 up in Barron County. And it was not more than two weeks after we put these up that somebody stole the the middle sign that said Shebuggy Landing, Barron County, Shebuggy Boat Ramp, Barron County. So we'd like that sign back, please. And <laughs> so that you don't have to steal the sign and have one for your man or woman cave, okay, you can buy you one can of buy these one for, what did we say? 25. And we'll be raffling some of these off at the um, music thing tomorrow. So mm -hmm. tell, me, tell me the history of the name Shebuggy. I, I don't know it. Um, it's actually, there used to be a package store near there. And that's how everybody local knows it, Shibagi. Got it. It's kind of like the one at State Line. Everybody local knows it as Moselle Spell, same reason. All right, people, listen. It's a, a large group. Uh, applaud the efforts of the Swanee River Keepers. Applaud the efforts of this group. And uh, please help support them uh, by getting out to the Salty Snapper tomorrow from about 1 to 4 for the Songwriters Contest. What an enjoyable. It's 10 bucks, I think, if you go in advance, 12 bucks at the door, correct? correct. That's right. I've been studying. You have. You're, <laughs> you're well versed. And been helping promote it. I hope you get a great crowd out there. It's a very unique event. And uh, thank you to the Quartermans for helping put this thing on. Well, thank you for having us on. And to the MC, the hostess with the mostest. Um, thank Go. you very much. Go, Gretchen. Thank you both for your time this morning, too. Thanks. Thanks again. All right, listen, we got a lot to talk about in a short time to do so. There's a lot of events, and I'm going to try and start running down some of the Fourth of July celebrations. 
Um, everybody's scheduling them on a different day this time. I got some on the Saturday before. I got some Wednesday stuff. I got some Friday stuff. It's a nonstop. You'll be able to take in about seven celebrations if you so choose. We're Talk 92.1. Good morning. Boy, the rich chocolatey flavor of Mayfield Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome.